Hey guys, Joe here. I thought I would talk about some of my audiophile equipment that I got recently. This isn't going to be much of a review because I'm not an expert. It's going to be more of just my thoughts and kind of a show off of the stuff I got so you guys can see some cool tech. Now these are the Philips X2 headphones. They cost about $300 at the moment and I decided to just kind of go all in, get a really good headset that I read a lot about and I figured, you know what, buy once, cry once and these are definitely worth the money. They are extremely sturdy feeling. I mean, going from a gaming headset that's pretty much all plastic, it was like, wow, this really feels like you actually spent the money on something real quality. Then of course, this is the Objective 2 amplifier, headphone amplifier from JDS Labs. This amplifies the signal. And then also, this is the ODAC, also from JDS Labs. DAC stands for Digital to Analog Converter. So this is kind of like an external sound card of sorts and a quality one at that. And then that, that plugs into the amplifier which you then plug into the headphones. You don't need these. I thought I would just get them from what I understand, from what I was reading before. You know, it really does make the sound uh, a lot better sounding. But you could definitely still get a lot of benefit out of a really good pair of headphones. Uh, even without these, this sounds, you know, infinitely better than the gaming headset. When I first put these on, I uh, put them on, started to listen to music, and uh, I kid you not, my, my face, like, an uncontrolled smile. I was like, wow, that, that sounds so much better. I had no idea what I was missing out. And then, quite honestly, when I was uh, first using these, you know, I went from my sound card in my computer to using these, and I couldn't really tell the difference. I was like... I really hope I didn't waste my money on these. You know, I can't really tell the difference. I'm not, I'm not that conditioned. But I will say, after a couple weeks of using it, I tried again going back to the sound card in my computer, just the back of the computer, using these versus the the whole, you know, professional and quality setup. You can notice a difference, especially more in the lower end. I would say it does sound clear, almost like the way I would describe it. It's kind of like a like a haze is removed almost. It just adds clarity. Now, in terms of the headphones, this is the biggest difference. You can totally get away with getting amazing sound even without these, but the, the difference I would say between my gaming headset, which is not here, and this is pretty much the difference I would say between like having a pillow in between the headphones and your ears and then removing that pillow, that was kind of the difference. It was pretty dramatic, and now going back to the gaming headset, it, I can't go back, especially in terms of the build quality. It just feels like a toy. It really feels cheap. And I mean, those were pretty good headphones. I had the, the Funk HS260 gaming headset. Honestly, that's a pretty quality gaming headset, but knowing now what real quality is like, you know, I can't go back. It just feels not right. Now the deal with the amplifier is that you, you have to plug it in to the wall. However, it does have a built-in battery and that charges automatically. It's not removable. As you have it plugged in, it just kind of charges. But I just keep it plugged in all the time, so I'm not really sure how long it lasts. But if you really did need to listen to some music through the amplifier, if you had a headset that really requires an amplifier, uh, this does not, then you can use this you know, portably. Now, basically all this has is the headphone output, of course, 3.5 millimeter, and the line in, and it also has a boost, and then the volume knob, and of course the power button. And on the back, you have the DC in, and when you order this from the JDS Labs website, you can actually customize it a little bit. You can choose whether you want to put the DC power jack on the front or the back. I wanted to put it on the back. I don't know why you would put everything on the front. And you can also choose between a quarter inch and a 3.5 millimeter. Then with the ODAC, it's really simple. There's no buttons or anything. It's USB powered. You plug it into the computer and then it's just a line out and that's it. There's no other bells and whistles. Very simple and it works. And in terms of these headphones themselves, I don't really know how to describe them in a way that's meaningful other than they sound good. When I was reading and doing research on which headphones to buy, which I'm obviously going to do if I'm going to spend this kind of money, from what I understand, people say that these tend to sound bassy, but when I heard them, they sound fine. And I, I don't know what a flat set of headphones would sound like, but these sound fine. I guess I kind of like a little bit of extra bass. It's not like, 
it's, you know, chest thumping bass that's overdone, it does sound good. And in terms of the rest of the sounds, obviously everything else sounds great as well. In terms of like the voices of listening to music, it's kind of like the voices are right there. I described before how, you know, I kind of lit up when I first heard, I was like, wow, this sounds so much better. How did I even miss out on this sounds so much this just sounds great so if you're looking for a really good pair of headphones i i recommend this one it's not bad uh, i would probably say do your own research if you know more about headphones and you know you don't like bass or you want a very flat uh sounding or neutral i think is the term not flat but neutral then this might not be the headphone for you but if you're used to like listening to regular kind of colorful music colorized then this is a great one to get, I think. So I guess that's it. Just wanted to show my stuff and it's not really a review because I, I can see all you people, well, you didn't say the exact frequency range and uh, you didn't say how the treble, it, guys, relax. I don't know any of that. There, this is a very new thing to me. So I just wanted to show you guys, that's about it. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments section. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Any compliments or criticisms either way. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That way YouTube knows you liked it and might show you more of my stuff. If you want to check out some other videos on the right hand side, you can either click those or look in the description for the same link, like if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos three times a week, so I think it should be worth it. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Have a good one.